He ought to forget the evening prayer begins on page 21 of the Book of Common Prayer. Let my prayer be set forth in thy sight as the incense, and that the lifting up of my hands be an evening sacrifice. Let us humbly confess our sins unto Almighty God. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have heard and strayed from thy ways like our sheep. We have fathered too much to the vices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done, and there is no help in us. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us, miserable offenders. Spare thou those, O God, who confess their faults. Restore thou those who are penitent. According to thy promises, declare unto mankind in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, my most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life, to the glory of thy holy name. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Lord grant you absolution and remission of all your sins, true repentance, amendment of life, and the grace and consolation of his Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. The portion of the Psalter appointed for the evening of the twentieth day is Psalm 104, found beginning on page 467 of the Book of Common Prayer. Praise the Lord, O my soul. O Lord my God, thou art become exceeding glorious. Thou art clothed with majesty and honor. Thou deckest thyself with light as it were with a garment and spreadest out the heavens like a curtain, who layeth the beams of his chambers in the waters, and maketh the clouds his chariots, and walketh upon the wings of the wind. He maketh his angels wings, and his ministers a flaming fire. He laid the foundations of the earth, that it never should move at any time. Thou coverest it with the deep light as with a garment. The waters stand above the hills. At thy rebuke they flee, at the voice of thy thunder they haste away. They go up as hill as the hills, and down to the valleys beneath, even unto the place which thou hast appointed for them. Thou hast set them their bounds, which they shall not pass, neither turn again to cover the earth. He sendeth the springs into the rivers, which run among the hills. All beasts of the field drink thereof, and the wild asses quench their thirst. Beside them shall the fowls of the air have their habitation, and sing among the branches. He watereth the hills from above, the earth is filled with the fruit of thy works. He bringeth forth grass for the cattle, and green earth for the service of men, that he may bring food out of the earth, and wine that maketh glad the heart of man, and oil to make him a cheerful countenance, and bread to strengthen man's hand. The trees of the Lord also are full of sap, even the cedars of Lebanon which he hath planted, wherein the birds make their nests, and the fir trees are a dwelling for the stork. The high hills are a refuge for the wild goats, and so are the stony rocks for the cones. He appointed the moon for certain seasons, 
and the sun knoweth his going down. Thou makest darkness that it may be night, wherein all the beasts of the forest do move. The lions, roaring after their prey, do seek their meat from God. The sun ariseth, and they get them away together, and lay them down in their dens. Man goeth forth to his work, and to his labor, until the evening. O Lord, how manifold are thy works! In wisdom hast thou made them all. The earth is full of thy riches. So is the great and wide sea also, wherein are things creeping innumerable, both small and great beasts. There go the ships, and there is that Leviathan, whom thou hast made to take his pastime therein. These wait all upon thee, that thou mayest give them meat in due season. When thou givest it them, they gather it, and when thou openest thine hand, they are filled with good. When thou hidest thy face, they are troubled. When thou takest away their breath, they die, and are turned again to their dust. When thou lettest thy breath go forth, they shall be made, and thou shalt renew the face of the earth. The glorious majesty of the Lord shall endure forever. The Lord shall rejoice in his works. The earth shall travel at the look of him. If he do but touch the hills, they shall smoke. I will sing unto the Lord as long as I live. I will praise my God while I have my being. And so shall my word please him. My joy shall be in the Lord. As for sinners, they shall be consumed out of the earth, and the ungodly shall come to an end. Praise thou the Lord, O my soul. Praise the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Here we get into the third chapter of the book of Ezra. And when the seventh month was come, and the children of Israel were in the cities, the people gathered themselves together as one man to Jerusalem. Then stood up Jeshua, the son of Jezebel, and his brethren the priests, and Zerubbabel, the son of Shealtiel, and his brethren, and builded the altar of the God of Israel, to offer burnt offerings thereon, as it is written in the law of Moses, the man of God. And they set the altar upon his faces, for fear was upon them because of the people of those countries. And they offered burnt offerings thereon unto the Lord, even burnt offerings morning and evening. They kept also the feast of tabernacles, as it is written and offered, the daily burnt offerings by number, according to the custom, as the duty of every day required. And afterward offered the continual burnt offering, both of the new moons, and of all the set feasts of the Lord that were consecrated, and every one that willingly offered a free will offering unto the Lord. From the first day of the seventh month began they to offer burnt offerings unto the Lord, but the foundation of the temple of the Lord was not yet laid. They gave money also unto the masons, and to the carpenters, and meat and drink and oil unto them of Zion, and to them of Tyre, to bring cedar trees from Lebanon, to the sea of Jaffa, according to the grant that they had had of Cyrus king of Persia. Now the second year of their coming unto the house of God at Jerusalem, in the second month, began Zerubbabel, the son of Shiltiel, and Joshua, the son of Josedah, and the remnant of their brethren the priests and the Levites, and all they that were come out of the captivity unto Jerusalem, and appointed the Levites from twenty years old and upward to set forward the work of the house of the Lord. Then stood Joshua with his sons and his brethren, Cadmiel and his sons, the sons of Judah, together to set forward the workmen in the house of God. The sons of Hanadan went their sons and their brethren the Levites. And when the builders laid the foundation of the temple of the Lord, they set the priests in their apparel with trumpets, and the Levites, the sons of Asaph, with cymbals, to praise the Lord, after the ordinance of David, king of Israel. And they sang together by course in praising and giving thanks unto the Lord.
because he is good, for his mercy endureth forever toward Israel. And all the people shouted with a great shout when they praised the Lord, because the foundation of the house of the Lord was laid. But many of the priests and Levites and chief of the fathers, who were ancient men, that had seen the first house, when the foundation of the house was laid before their eyes, wept with a loud voice, and many shouted aloud for joy, so that the people could not discern the noise of the shout of joy from the noise of the weeping of the people. For the people shouted with a loud shout, and the noise was heard far off. Be ready for the first lesson. The Magnificat. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior. For he hath regarded the loveliness of his handmaiden. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessing. For He told me all that ever I did. 
So when the Samaritans were come unto him, they besought him that he would tarry with them, and he abode there two days. And many more believed because of his own word, and said unto the woman, Now we believe, not because of thy sake, for we have heard him ourselves, and know that this is indeed the Christ, the Savior of the world. Now after two days he departed thence, and went into Galilee. For Jesus himself testified that a prophet hath no honor in his own country. Then when he was come into Galilee, the Galileans received him, having seen all the things that he did at Jerusalem at the feast, for they also went unto the feast. So Jesus came again into Cana of Galilee, where he made the water wine. And there was a certain nobleman whose son was sick at Capernaum. When he heard that Jesus was come out of Judea into Galilee, he went unto him and besought him that he would come down and heal his son for he was at the point of death. Then said Jesus unto him, Except ye see signs and wonders, ye will not believe. The nobleman said unto him, Sir, come down, ere my child die. Jesus said unto him, Go thy way, thy son liveth. And the man believed the word that Jesus had spoken unto him, and he went his way. And as he was now going down, his servants met him and told him, saying, Thy son liveth. Then inquired he of the hour when he began to amend. And they said unto him, Yesterday at the seventh hour the fever left him. So the father knew that it was at the same hour in the which Jesus said unto him, Thy son liveth, and himself believed, and his whole house. This is again the second miracle that Jesus did when he was come out of Judea into Galilee. He read it the second lesson. The note the minutes. Lord, now let us now thy servant depart in peace, according to her thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou Who art always more ready to hear than me to pray, and art wont to 
to give more than either we desire or deserve. Pour down upon us the abundance of thy mercy, forgiving us those things whereof our conscience is afraid, and giving us those good things which we are not worthy to ask, but through the merits and mediation of Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord. Amen. A God for Peace on page 31. O God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works do proceed, give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments, and also that by thee, we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness. Through the merits of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Lighten our darkness, you beseech me, O Lord, and by thy great mercy. Defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of thy only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. A general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, thine unworthy servants, do give thee most humble and hearty thanks for all thy goodness and loving kindness to us and to all men. We bless thee for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for thy inestimable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace, and for the hope of glory. And we beseech thee, give us that due sense of all thy mercies, that our hearts may be unfailingly thankful, and that we show forth thy praise not only with our lips, but in our lives. By giving up ourselves to thy service, and by walking before thee in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. Almighty God, who has given us grace this time upon accord, to make our common supplications unto thee, and just promise that when two or three are gathered together in thy name, thou wilt grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants, as may be most expedient for them. Grant in us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come, life everlasting. Amen. Grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost, be with us all. Amen.